Well, today I'm not feeling well. I've got a virus of some sort, chills, fever, upset belly, and on top of it, my back is killing me. So anyway, if I can make it through this, there's a lesson in here for us. Stay tuned. The saints tell us that there are two types of suffering. There is active suffering and passive suffering. Active sufferings are those penances that we choose. And we choose the length, the duration, the intensity, but we can shut off the switch whenever we want. But then there's passive sufferings. And those are the ones that God wills. And we don't have any control over. We cannot control the the intensity, the duration, you know, the length, the, the, the pain that's involved. Of the two sacrifices or sufferings, active and passive, the saints tell us the most effective is the passive sacrifices because God chooses the length, the duration, the intensity, and we cannot turn off that switch. The key to the spiritual life is that all men suffer, but few men sacrifice. And so what do I mean by that? What I mean is, is that we're given the task with suffering, passive sufferings, particularly to give them to God as a sacrifice. And there's a key to that, how we do that. And the key is to neither complain or boast about your sufferings. So on one hand, we can brag about how much we suffer. Or on the other hand, all we can do is complain. But the key to offering it up to God, that is to offer it up as a sacrifice, as a prayer, is to actually not complain or boast, but just to offer it up to Him quietly. And that actually, the hidden sacrifice, actually is the most effective, and it makes real saints. So remember, all men suffer, few men sacrifice. So it's up to us to convert the sufferings that we receive, those passive sufferings, into sacrifice unto the Lord, and then we will really be saints.